Welcome to our service for Holy Eucharist as we remember the minor feast day of Hannah Thorne. Those with us online, we have links that you can follow along with, and for those who are with us here, uh, you can follow along in the books. We'll begin our service with this. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. My God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit. We may perfectly love thee, worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through what our Lord Jesus Christ saith, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy soul. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And be with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose only begotten Son led captivity captive, multiply among us faithful witnesses like thy servant Hannah Moore, who will fight for all who are oppressed or held in bondage. And bring us all, we pray, to the glorious liberty that thou hast promised to all thy children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Call the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who abide in me, and I in them, bear much fruit. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch with earth. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done. My Father is glorified by this. You bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you have love for one another, as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants anymore, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. The words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength. We are unique as Christians in that our faith is not one that tells us that we are good. Our faith doesn't even call us to recreate ourselves to something better. That's because our faith recognizes the truth that is out there in the world. If we look outside, 
seem really bad right now. And most of the things that are going wrong are really our fault as humans. We're not called to be good because we can't be. We can't make ourselves better because we are incapable of doing so on our own. That is what our faith recognizes. Really, we're an unlovable mess. But God loved us. And that's the whole reason that we have God's words on Jesus' lips for us today. When we couldn't be God, out of love, paid the price for our sins. When we couldn't make ourselves better, God, out of love, came down in this world as Jesus to do the work, to remake us, and to recreate us. Jesus is the vine. We are the branches. God showed how much he loved us through Jesus. And now it's our turn to share God's love by telling the story, by sharing the good news of our Lord Jesus. Maybe then we can come to accept that, yes, we are not good people. God loves us anyway. And that by following Jesus, we can allow him to finally change us through that. Since this is not a major feast day, our service will now continue with the prayers of the people for the great. Father, we pray for thy holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve thee. That thy name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. They may be faithful ministers of thy word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do thy will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in thy sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise thee for thy saints who have entered into joy. And we also come to share in thy heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. for all who have suffered from natural disasters and for those who continue to help them. Lord, hear the prayers of thy people. And what we have asked for faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectually the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Now, if anyone wishes to have the laying on of hands and anointing, you may come to the altar at this time. Savior of the world, by thy cross and precious blood, thou hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Through thy lay my hands upon thee in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold me and fill me with his grace, though I know the healing power of his love. I anoint you with his oil in the name of the Father. As thou art outwardly anointed with this holy oil, so may our Heavenly Father grant thee the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. His great mercy may he forgive thee thy sins, release thee from suffering, and restore thee to wholeness and strength. Deliver thee from all evil, preserve thee in all goodness, bring thee to everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to wall, whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey, now and evermore our defense. Make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for help and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And now the peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace to those who are with us online as well. Please know we're going to be following our uh, bulletin uh, more fully for our uh, healing service. So for today, uh, our service will continue with Eucharistic prayer two. Eucharistic prayer two either found in your bulletins here or for those who are in the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, it'll be after the first prayer in Eucharistic prayer right one. And that will start on page 340. Continue now, walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice.
Again, our service continues on page 340 in the Book of Common Prayer, the Eucharistic Prayer. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord God. It is neat and right so to do. It is very neat, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. Because in Jesus Christ, our Lord, thou hast received us as thy sons and daughters, the citizens of thy kingdom, and given us the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the Laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praise and thee and say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. All glory be to thee, O Lord our God, for that thou didst create heaven and earth, and didst make us in thine own image, and of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. He made there a full and perfect sacrifice for the world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took it. And when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of but this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, the remission of sins. As soft as you shall drink it, remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy people do celebrate and make with these thy holy gifts, which thou, that we now offer unto thee. The memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, power and great glory. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and with thy holy word and holy spirit, to bless and sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be unto us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son. We earnestly desire that fatherly goodness to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, whereby we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies. Grant, we beseech thee, that all who partake in this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and also that we and all thy whole church may be made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. Same with Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in him. In the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah, Christ our Passover once for all is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith. Our service continues with the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us. And that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy son, the 
bless and comfort you all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of my everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so as to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us for. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost, we all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day. Before we go, uh, we will not be holding our Wednesday service next week, and our next time that we will have the healing uh, service portion of, of this uh, Wednesday worship will be on the last Wednesday uh, of this month. Now with that, go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. And peace to God.